59,000 Olympic Stadium. Vlad Guerrero coming through the crowd. All pumped up to the fifth. Some defensive trouble. Chris Wisher. Newbie. The throw gets away from Jose Vidro. Adrian Beltre comes to score. Devon White. Michael Barrett, he has problems with it. Kevin Elster will score. And then Dustin Hermanson's pitch. It's past Widger. Kevin Brown over to third. Dodgers finished the fifth up five to one. Fifth inning, Vlad Guerrero. Over 500 hitter against Kevin Brown lifetime. And this is more evidence of how he controls him. The two run dong. Dodgers lead cut to five to three. Scott Strickland, Eric Karos. And there it goes. He's going to get his name in the paper because the base is reloaded. That's a grand slam. Dodgers go on to win a count of 10 to four. First nightmare. Estevan White, his 32nd career leadoff home run. One nothing Dodgers against the 30 year old Japanese righty. Tied at one in the third, Gary Sheffield. Sheffield coming off a two for four. First game, make it a two for four second game. Two run home run for Sheff. It's 3 1 Dodgers. And that was just the beginning of the onslaught in the third inning against Hideki. Adrian Beltre. Looking for space, finds it. That scores Sean Green. Dodgers win. They score seven runs in that third inning against Arabu, who said it might have been his location that was the problem, to win their second straight game. Eight of LA's 17 hits coming off Hideki, who was making his NL debut, said manager Davey Johnson, we don't have a weak link in this lineup. Number 200, or a win for as many people in attendance. Wednesday, bottom of the fifth, Hershon's hits Vladimir Guerrero to load the bases, much to the dismay of Guerrero's manager, Felipe Alou lets the Bulldog have it. Next batter, Lee Stevens. Wilma. Blooper that drops in front of Sheffield. Two runners score 4-1 Expos. It's 4-2 Expos. Top of the eighth. Two on for pinch hitter Dave Hansen. Who There's the fastball. Takes Uget Urbina deep and gone. Dodgers up 5-4 just like that. Bottom of the ninth. Bases full Expos. Nobody out. Rondell White but yet to get a hit all season provides the game winner is Peter Bergeron scores and lays exposed Gagne six to five amidst the pandemonium somebody handed the ball to new owner Jeffrey Loria who promised he would sleep with the game ball thus making Mark Cuban look like Walter O'Malley just kidding I feel like a 13 year old kid with a new toy said the man who saved Montreal baseball is at the plate two on and two out and that is a three run bomb to left his first of the year three nothing Montreal top six Expos with some D Gary Sheffield to Jose Vidro Jose Vidro into the hole in time or not in time Vidro, Vidro, Vidro. Vladimir Guerrero, bottom eight. I mean, this guy's incredible. Third home run of the year already, and the Expos crushed the Dodgers 11 to 3. Perez gave up eight runs in four and two thirds. After the game, he said, I'm going to bed and I'm going to think about my next start. I'm not going to drive myself crazy like I did last year. Been took a few swings at BP, but couldn't extend his arm fully. Ryan Klesko with full extension here off Jeremy Powell and boy, Klesko's first of the year, seven zip Padres. It was eight zip. Lee Stevens with the shot. Rondell White going to try to score. Eric Owens with the gun and the nice tag by Weeki Gonzalez. Weeki getting it done. The Padres win at 10-5. They have won three straight. To Montreal for the Expos and Padres. That's Ryan Klesko off the deck of Rabu. Jose Vidro, the catch, gets to Lee Stevens. Bottom three, no score. Brian Bowringer facing Orlando Cabrera up the middle. Damian Jackson, nice stab. Brett Boone gets the force. Bottom six, game side at one. Bases are loaded. Matt Wisenant brings in Rondell White with the go-ahead run. Proved to be the game-winning run. Hideki Arabu earns his first National League win going seven strong. And the win came against the team he forced to trade his rights to the Yankees in 1997. Only 9,800 attended, a figure that was affected by a snowstorm that dumped eight inches in the Montreal area. And up again, two hour, two minute rain delay, warming up to serve that to Jose Vidro. First dong of the year. Two nuts on the Expos go out front. Pirates down 4 2 now in the fourth. Orlando Cabrera taking it to right. It's Brian Giles. That's a good play. Same score in the fifth. Two on for Rondell White. 
Pat Mears making the play this time. Expo's up 5-3 in the seventh. Vidro facing Venson once more, also known as Benson. Palm Braun. Vidro takes the fastball out, second of the game, second of the year. Expo's win. The Expo's have won five out of six. Vidro. Carroll's aren't as much as Keyshawn's new deal with the Buffs. Brian Giles driving the Carl Pavano pitch to left, or yours. Rondell White makes the running catch at the wall. Pat Mears returns to first. Expos would escape that inning. But bottom of the six, Pirates. Two on, trailing 4-3, John Vandewall against Miguel Batista. Vandewall waving a magic stick. Three-run home run. Pittsburgh finds a way. Hear that roar. They snap a three-game skid. Vanderwall has two homers and three. Exposed. Bottom of the eighth, Phillies down 4-2. Rico Bronia at the plate. Two minute board. Bronia 0 for 13 this season against lefties. Felipe Alou hoping his pitcher can capitalize. Bronia with a base knock. Peter Bergeron can't get it. Bobby Abreu, Scott Rowland make it 4-4. Bottom of the ninth, Abreu facing Anthony Telford. Bobby Abreu, one of the best when men are on base. Over Vladimir Guerrero's head, Rob Ducey scores, and the Phillies come from behind to win this one by the final of five to four. Abreu led the majors last year. Against Montreal, that would depend on Kevin Tappany. Yes, Kevin Tappany, the pitcher. His second career homer, the second homer by a pitcher this year. Shane Reynolds knocked out another one. One nothing, Cubs. Later in the third, runner on first, Sammy Sosa for Cevacing Vasquez. And Sammy Sosa, who was hitting 214 coming into this game, his fourth homer of the season, three nothing, Cubs. Top seven, we're tied at three. Tappany facing Michael Barrett with two out. Barrett. That's a shot. Pass Ricky Gutierrez. Tarek Brock can't field it in center, and Barrett moves on to second. Next batter, Orlando Cabrera. Cabrera, who wanted to hit two homers for his daughter's birthday, settled for the two RBI in this game and an exposed victory as Cabrera would drive in Barrett. Cabrera now four for eight lifetime against Tappany. Tappany, by the way, loses his 11th straight decision. The last Cubs pitcher to lose 11 straight, Dick Drott. He did it from 1959 to 61, but can't... Because he hasn't struck out all season long. In fact, he hasn't struck out since last season. 83 plate appearances. More on that later. Bottom of the fifth, game tied at two. One on, two out. Here's Guerrero. Doing better this time. Other way. Rondell White comes around to score, and Guerrero still running. Has the good arm and some legs. He's in the third. That's a triple. Guerrero's triple gives the Expos the lead. It's three to two. Bottom of seven, tied at three. Guerrero going to left this time. Jeff Blum and Orlando Cabrera come to score. Guerrero, three for five, four RBI. Bueno, Expos up five to three tonight. Uget and Urbina against Glenn Allen Hill. Michael Barrett, the good play, wings to second. And the Expos win at seven to three. Guerrero, three for five, a homer shy of the cycle. Carl Pavano went to two and zero. Oh. This win was in his first ever start against the Cubs. He's now faced every National League team. And score only here on the Pirates and Marlins. Todd Ritchie finally got a win. He went seven innings. Michael Barrett's up, two out. Barrett, center field. Sammy got turned, couldn't get there. Jose Vidro comes to score. Lee Stevens will score. Of course, Chris Widger will score. Everyone scores, except the guy who hit it. Expos take a 4-1 lead. Take another look and maybe offer a second opinion. Harold Reynolds, our baseball guy, says he had no chance anyway. Even with the turn, it was drilled, but... Nah. Sosa's first time in the center this year, by the way. Sammy redeems himself if he needed to. Comes down 5-2, runs at first and third. Sosa. It's called a looper. Just inside the line. Rick Gutierrez comes to score. Mark Grace will score. It's a ground rule double because the fan cheated. Touched the ball. Cubs trailing 5-4. They're loaded for Sammy Sosa. Home punt. Grand slam. Fourth of his career. Fifth homer of any kind this season. And the Cubs win it 10 to 6. Six RBI, career tying high for Sosa. Vladimir Guerrero working on Jimmy Haynes and oh, Vlad wins. The scorcher back through the box. The Expos take the one zip lead. Guerrero's 300th career RBI. There would be more. Bottom six, we're tied at one, a man on. Haynes puts one in Guerrero's wheelhouse which is a house where you keep your wheels. Guerrero, sixth home run of the year. It's 3-1, Montreal. Bottom of the eighth, one on, same score. Vlad just leans back and crushes this one to right. And Guerrero's seventh homer. He had all five ribs.
He leads the NL in RBIs with 23 dust. To Montreal for the Expos and Brewers. Bottom four tied at three. Rondell White, base knockoff. Jaime Navarro, Peter Bergeron comes in. White, two for four, two runs scored. Expos up 4-3. Next batter is Vlad Guerrero. And they're not going to pitch to the man from Vlad. Navarro is pulled for Matt Williams after the... Matt Williams comes in, Lee Stevens at the plate. Williams walks Stevens on five pitches. Jose Vidro comes in. Expos up 5-3. Williams will walk in one more. White comes in to score. Expos pick up the victory by the final of 6-4. Montreal proves to 10-8 and eight overall. Guerrero has 25 RBIs and is hitting fourth. About sports. Rockies Expos, third inning. Rockies down 2-0. Mike Lansing against Carl Pavano. Two runners in scoring position. Lansing. That's a liner. Jose Vidro got past him. Brent Main, no relation to Al Newman. Tom Goodwin, they come and score. Ties it at two. Sixth inning, Expos down 4-3. Michael Barrett up against Jerry DePoto. Bases loaded. And then pretty much unloaded, or at least part of them. The single scores Vladimir Guerrero and Jose Vidro. Expos lead at 5-4. In the seventh, it's 7-4. Lee Stevens. And that also is a home run. Three-run home run. Expos win 10-4. Show them what they've won. Carl Pavano is out of the gate checking this thing out in the sixth. Vlad Guerrero didn't like that much. Got nailed by Kevin Jarvis. I will avenge myself. Vladimir's unhappy. Manager's coming out. Alou is very troubled by this entire episode. Now we're in the eighth. You will pay for your transgressions! Vlad Guerrero jacking the first pitch out. Uh, Julian Tavares. Solo dong, his sixth of the year. Look again. Vladimir, this is called showing people up, and you cannot do that in Major League Baseball. Vlad can pretty much do what he wants. Leading the National League and hitting at 452. He is very good. Still looking for their first win at Pac Bell. Top seven. Giants lead 3 1. This is Chris Widger, and that's a home run off Russ Ortiz. Widger's fourth. Ties it at three. We go to the seventh. Still tied at three. Bill Miller. That's a Bill Miller dribbler. Jose Vidro, barehanded charge. And that is a gorgeous throw. Still tied at three. Expos that led 5-3 in the eighth there, full for Widger. Down the left field line, Barry Bonds having problems getting a handle on the baseball. Widger clears the bases with a double. That put Montreal up 8-3, and they go on for the 9-3 win. Giant and two ducks on the pond for Barry Bonds. How do you make them leave? <laughs> They're gone. Bonds drives in two more. Game tied at two, bottom fifth, and here's Barry Bonds off Carl Pavano from Southington, Connecticut. Gone! Tenth home run for Bonds in the month of April. 3-2 Giants. But in the top of the ninth with the game tied at three, it's a sack fly by Rondell White, scoring Terry Jones. And uh, the Giants could not equalize it in the bottom of the ninth. And for the first time under Dusty Baker, the Giants have a losing April. Montreal takes two of three, winning it by the count of 4-3 uh, Pavano. A pitch well, but Strickland gets the win. It's up 2-1. And Todd Helton has hit it quite far. It's over a fence. 4-1 Rockies. Helton's seventh. Not in this game. Bottom of the fifth. Run quick, Lassie. Timmy is stuck in the well. Helton's done it again. Second of the night. 8-7 Rocks. Eighth of the year. We're in the seventh. 14-7. Helton. My power is beyond your understanding. Hammers Anthony Telford's pitch out, third of the night. Rocks win 15 to 8. He was 4 for 5, 5 RBI. Expos and Rockies, Vladimir Guerrero in right field wearing sunglasses, but he doesn't wear batting gloves. Obviously overrated because he hits 391. Mike Lansing off the wall, off Guerrero's head. Guerrero hits the wall. Lansing ends up with his first triple of the year. Guerrero shaking up on the play, and his sunglasses broke. So he gives them to a trainer, but he doesn't get a new pair. Two batters later, Jeff Cirillo. Pops one to right. One of Cirillo's four hits, all of them singles, and Guerrero should have gotten a new pair of sunglasses. What ha ha? Rule the hit through in Colorado. Oh, too late now, Vladimir, to decide he needs some sunglasses. Bottom six Rockies have tied their team record for hits at 21. Darren Bragg, it's all to the good. He said one Rocky player. He what? He's going to throw him out. No, he's good. He's good on. One Rocky player said, when I go to the plate, I feel like I should get a hit every two. It's Vladimir Guerrero. Last year, and 
Yeah. For the Expos, down two, one off David Weathers. It scores Jose Vidro. We're tied at two. Weathers imploded in the eighth, allowing four hits and two runs. Bottom nine, Expos up three, two. Ugi Urbina. Kyle Mouton, can't hit the slider. Next batter, Jose Hernandez. There's two outs, and then Henry Blanco is Blanco'd. Urbina's eighth save and ten chances. Expos win 3-2. Steve Woodward, who left after seven with a 2-1 lead, is now winless. Vladimir Guerrero off of Wayne Gomes, Guerrero's tenth of the year. Vlad is now hitting 405. That's tops in the majors. Expos down two to one. Still in the ninth. Nobody had one on. Chris Bridger. That's a shot. Scott Rowland, great staff. Throws the second. That's one, but Philly can't turn the DP. The tying run is on first. Next batter. Good effort, though. Next batter, Mike Mordecai. Shot. Scott Rowland can't get that. Widger scores all the way from first. Now you know why the Expos are in second in the NL East, just four back of the Braves. We're tied. Now two outs in the ninth. Mordecai on third for Terry Jones. High chopper. Mickey Morandini, he's a veteran, but doesn't matter how old he is, how long he's played. He had no play. Expos win. Third time this year, the Expos won in their last at bat. Gomes is blown save. Spoiled a solid. Two out, one on. Vlad Guerrero against Robert Person. Took a little while to develop. Look at Person. Oh, uh, wiffle ball at Kerr's. Phillies lead 3 0, by the way. Base is loaded. Person at the plate. Hard. Guerrero's there. Couldn't get it. Mike Lieberthal coming around the score. Phillies go out front 4 0. To the ninth, Matt Blank. Thrown against Rico Bronia. Or just thrown at him. Right on the wrist. Didn't look good. He's down in pain. Taken out. Did not return. Bottom of nine. Person throwing well. Vlad Guerrero, he's compelled to pop up. Guerrero went 0 for 4. Person went the whole way, and the Phillies won it 8 nothing. Four hitter for Robert Person, the first complete game of his career. Kevin Jordan helped back him up with his expos. Bobby Abreu ripping that to Michael Barrett. He did not run the Tom Amansky defensive drills video. It's endorsed by Fred McGriff. Tom Prince scores. Desi Relaford thrown out of third to ninth. Jose, Jose Ravidro represent the tying run, but he bounces that to Mickey Morandini. He throws across to get the out, and the Phillies win the baseball game. Six to four is your final in that one. The Phillies have won six of the last day. They made Carl Pavano a loser for the first time this season. Harry Wood is as a leadoff dealer. One on, bottom of the first, Rondell White. No, Vladimir Guerrero, sit, boo-boo, sit. Wood strikes out the side in the first. Bottom of the third, tied at one, one on. And now we have issues. Bergeron with a shot past Eric Young, and Mike Thurman is going to score all the way from first. Montreal would take the 2-1 lead hustle. This is only an hour show. Bottom four, bases loaded, 3-1 Montreal, White. Out to right, one run will come in, and Sammy Sosa, that is a major boot job, my friend. And the relay home toss, equally as bad news, bear light. 7-1 Expos. Sammy's boo-boo clears him. Montreal wins it 8-3. The Spos got the good wood. All Cubs, and there's one for the scrapbook. Striking out, Sammy Sosa swinging. One, two, three inning for Armas. Five innings pitch, three hits, two runs, two K. Bottom first, John Lever. He would fare just as well. Vlad Guerrero goes fishing. One for four now, hitting 370. Top of the third, Cubs 1-0, and this gets kind of hazy. Henry Rodriguez lines one to right center. Sosa is hustling, as Sosa is known to do. Scoring from first, but Henry Rodriguez. Oh, boy, Hank. He's caught in the uh, proverbial hot box. He is no Jackie Robinson, despite the bumbling by the Expos. You're out. Cubs go up 2-0. Bottom of the eight, Cubs 2-1. Lee Stevens lines the hard grounder to second. Eric Young, that would be EY, which is different from E4, gets the out, and the Cubs win it by a count of 2-1. Ninth career complete game for John Lieber. Had to talk manager Don Baylor into letting him go the route. 5K, zero walks in winning his third straight decision. Cubs, two on, no outs. Here in Montreal, bouncing ball toward first. The out there, they'll have to apply the tag to Sosa. There's the tag, runners coming home, and it's a triple play! A triple play in Montreal! Top six, Eric Young, four stolen bases, make that five. Five steals, scored four runs, had four hits. Top nine, Cubs down a run, two on, and it's H-Rod. The former Expo has taken Dustin Hermanson deep. Cubs up 15-13. Bottom nine, same score. Rondell White at the plate, one on, gone. Game tied at 15. Still in the ninth.
Vladimir Guerrero at first, he would leave with back spasms. He's day to day. Two batters later, the game still tied. Mike Mordecai at the plate with two on. And Mordecai against Rick Aguilera. Jones. Terry Jones will come in with the game winning run. The Expos, in dramatic fashion, pick up the victory. 16 to 15, 31 runs, 37 hits, 16 walks, 19 runners left on base. That's baseball. Ridiculous 0.95 ERA against the Expos, his old team. Rebiel Durazo over to first. Lee Stevens making a nice grab. Next batter, Javier Vasquez gets Steve Finley to go away. Vasquez out of the jam. Bottom of one, still no score. Randy Johnson to Rondell White. Wiffle ball, it curves. Bottom of two, one out, still scoreless. Chris Widger choking on a splinter. And then in the fourth, nobody out. Johnson to Jose Vidro. That's another case of the man holding us down. 12 Ks, 133rd time in his career that Johnson has struck out 10 or more. In the seventh, does not strike out. Rondell White takes it over the wall, his fifth of the season. And Montreal's out front, 1-0. Now in the ninth, 2-0, base is loaded. Dustin Hermanson to Lenny Harris to short. Orlando Cabrera, 6-4-3. And, and Montreal handing Randy Johnson his first loss of the season. The Expos are the first to beat unit in a regular season game. Play Vidro against Armando Reynoso. For the Expos up two, Vidro, just a blooper. And somehow it goes to the wall at Olympic Stadium. Orlando Cabrera comes in to score. Expos were up 4-1, a career-high three doubles in this game for Jose Vidro. Bottom three, Expos still up 4-1, Reynoso. This you just don't want to do. You just don't want to leave a pitch up in the strike zone to Vladimir Guerrero. 410 feet. It goes. His 12th of the year. Carl Pavano, outstanding. Ask Luis Gonzalez. Pavano, he caught him up in the fourth. Rubio Durazo can't find the heat, and Pavano getting Jay Bell. Pavano, eight innings, four hits, two earned runs, eight Ks. The Expos crushed Arizona 10 to 2. Those three straight doubles for Vidro. He's got 16 doubles already this year. Looking on as the Expos trying to sweep the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks up 1-0. Travis Lee against Mike Thurman. Two on. The blue. Luis Gonzalez. Rui Bill. Durazo come to score. 3-0. Now we're in the bottom of the first. Expos down 3-0. Vlad Guerrero. Home run. Over the right field fence. Two-run home run. Expos down 3-2. Guerrero's 13th of the year. Bottom of two, Lee Stevens leading off against Brian Anderson. Steve Finley coming in to make the play. Third inning, Steve Finley against Felipe Lira. Straight out and over the wall. Diamondbacks lead at 6-2. to two. Finley's 15th of the season. He's on a 13-game hit streak, too. Expos trailing 6-5. Lee Stevens against Brian Anderson. He gives up a big play to meet again. Game is tied at 6. Stevens has 9 this year. Ninth inning, 6-6. Six, six. Steve Finley pops it up. This is a good thing. The bases were loaded. Rondell White, the catch, the throw. Tony Womack is fast, and he beat it easily. Diamondbacks up 7-6. Got an empty netter to win it 8-6. The Diamondbacks are winner. The eighth. We're all tied at one. Well, we were tied at one. That's his sixth of the season. Expos up by the count of 2-1. to one. Throws down 2-1, top nine. Mitch Molesky. Oh, he got a hold of it. Tying the game at two on his sixth home run of the year. So we're tied at two. We're in the bottom of the 10th. Wilton Guerrero on second one out. And Jose Vidro up the middle. Guerrero, the winning run, coming around. And he is in there. The Expos win it three to two and 10. Houston now 0 and 10 in one run games this season. Stroh's the only team in the majors without a one run win over the border. Top first, Craig Biggio. Stealing and... Ow, that has got to hurt. The old spike to the hand. Jose Vidro comes down. Vidro would leave the game. His day-to-day -day said, just a freak thing. He tried to get out of the way. Top of the ninth, Expos up 8-5. Matt Mieske launches it to right. Vlad is there. Not with the bat this time, but with the leather. We have videotape. Mieske, you have been robbed. Astros down 8-7, tying run on, and Moises Alou knocking it to Orlando Cabrera, and he, too, with the nice glove work. Force at second. The Expos win at 8-7. Rondell White ties a team record with three. Giants top one. Rondell White at the plate. Jose Vidro's on first, and White smacks this one. Barry Bonds will not bring it back. Expos up 2-0. Bottom of the fourth, Barry Bonds.
Repent and be baptized. The ball is in McCovey Cove. It's 17th of the year. That's the Expos lead to 3-1, but oh, that's not an actual splash down because we had a bounce and we also had an error by the fans, so we stay on three. Bottom of the eighth, Bonds up again. Marvin Bernard's on second. Bonds would have a seat. Expos win it to 3-2. White went four for four. He saw his big shot. Straight what? Not going to happen here. Expos down three zip. Sean Estes. Bergeron taking it to left. Barry Bonds, fancy catch. That's restaurant quality. Now here's Bonds. Gets Mike Thurman. Only guy to do this. Now he's done it four times. Why is he the only guy who gets to do that? Hits it in the water. Giants up four zip. He has 18. Look again. Balls hit by Bonds into the water are fished out and donated to the Tom Amansky Defensive Drill School. Fourth for him. You look at Vladimir Guerrero. His reaction to the Bonds homer, eventually you'll look at that. Okay, good. He's reflecting on how one shouldn't go into the water until an hour after a heavy meal. Fifth inning, Giants leading seven zip. Sean Estes over. It's a grand slam. He's a frequent contributor to Todd Wright all night on ESPN Radio. And here, he's going to get his name in the paper. 18-0, the shutout, the grand slam, everything. Becoming the first Giants pitcher in 51 years to hit a grand slam. But Zip the Expos back at it at Pac Bell. Barry Bonds facing Tony Armas Jr. with two on and Bonds. For the love of the long ball. Inside he translates number 19 on the year for Bonds. Three for four, four RBI. Top six, Vladimir Guerrero facing Levon Hernandez with one on. Sky shot. Now, Barry's going to have some trouble. But he's a professional, and despite the sun, hauls it in. Expos didn't get a runner past second till the eighth. Top of the eighth, 4-1 Giants. Guerrero up, two on, two out. Hernandez likes the challenge. What was Guerrero swinging at? But I'm not going to be the one to rip this guy. He's arguably the best player in baseball. Good thing he didn't rip him. Thank you. Giants win, 4-1. Barry Bonds now one homer behind Mark McGuire. For the uh, looking to sweep up Montreal. Bottom five, Al Martin, runners in second and third. Martin hits a soft liner. But can you really call it a soft liner, Dan, if it's hard enough to go over the head of Jose Vidro? Semantics. Thank you. Ricky Gonzalez, Eric Owen score. Martin thrown out at second. He was still three for four with three ribs on the day. Bottom six, Gonzalez fly ball. Andy Tracy, see what, what ha happened. Tracy's third error of the year, one of three Expos errors on the day. Hey, Captain Carl taking a night off at the ballpark. Reds down one zip of the third. Benito Santiago drilling one to left center. Just enough to get over the wall. We are tied at one. Osvaldo Fernandez was great from there. Two hitter through seven. And that's when Ozzy got some support. Casey to second. Vidro goes to two. Throws it away. Oh, here comes Junior. Reds lead 2-1. Then it's Booney's turn. Rifles went up the gut. Meat will score. 3-1 Reds. To the eighth, Michael Tucker pinch hit and got it. Gone. 4-1 Reds. Scott Williamson made things interesting in the ninth. Bases loaded. Wild pitch. But he then left men on second and third to earn his sixth save. The Reds win. 4-2. With Dante Bichette. Shot to Guerrero. You tell me, error or double? They called that a double. Pokey Reese scores to make it one zip. Next, 21 Reds went down in order. Guerrero proceeded to make up for that run with one of his own. Number 14, tied at one. Stayed that way till the fifth. Vidro, first to three RBI. Double to chase home Bergeron. Three to one, Spose. All heck broke loose in the sixth. Vladimir Guerrero, another RBI. This time, ground rule double. The next Reds hit came in the eighth. Booney to left. Gone. They would add a couple more before Guerrero went off again. And this time for Vladi, second home run of the game. Oh, yeah, by the way, since this game wasn't on TV, I thought I'd let this guy's parents know he's having a baby. Reds get treated like a baby. Hitters are pressing 10 to 4.